Hi, I'm Captain Larry Bell with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. Up here, Cedar Bayou, big flat, just down on the left-hand side if you're heading into Cedar. Uh, all that area here on the left-hand side there as you're heading in, like you're heading out to the Gulf. It's been pretty good in this area here. There's been some scattered trout that's been over that flat area, uh, down south lures in both the regular and supermodel and chicken of the sea, magic grass. My main go-tos have been have been good. Watermelon red has been good. Uh, another flavor or another bait that has been pretty productive uh, is one that you may or may not have heard of. It's called AM Lures. Uh, that's one that was uh, that I've thrown here for the last couple of days, and it's been very productive. There's uh, real heavy garlic scented flavor infusion into these baits, and it, uh, the white uh, has been kind of like a, a white ice, if you will, in uh, what the down south has. They have their own version of white, uh, but that's one of the flavors or one of the lures that I've thrown this past week that have been very productive. Uh, again, the down south have been my number one. It's always my number one go-to. It's just sometimes you get an opportunity to throw something a little bit different just to try something, and uh, you get pleasantly surprised with the particular bait. So if you'll put that on your list of, of lures to check out, if you're interested in throwing different things besides what you normally throw, AM lures would be one that you'd want to check out. But all that said, up and down Cedar Bayou, the mouth all the way back down here like you're headed to the gulf uh, on down either side uh, this area up in here get out and wade these areas here along the edges of course it drops off fairly quick so you don't want to get too far out into the middle of that because you know our, our tides have fluctuated up and down uh, a lot of current that's blowing in and out of here with the with the tides in coming and out going with cedar bayou that's flowing really well if you can get all the way to the end there put your boat up there on the side uh, get out, walk across the uh, the dunes there, the the beach area, and get out there on the surf. You got to pick your days for that right now because the weather's so volatile. We've got you know choppy fronts that are coming in, so you have two or three days of some decent weather. Then you'll have some really high winds that come in. As we've all had last week, and we got some that are coming this coming week as well. It's going to be the same type of thing. Uh, big strong south breeze, so that wouldn't be one of those days that you want to get out there on that surf. But get you a low wind day. Get out here on this surf area, work these guts, throw your topwaters across this thing. They have been really good. A lot of fun, a lot of action. Uh, something with a white or silver belly has been good. Doesn't matter if it's a, a Spook Junior, a One Knocker, a Top Dog, She Dog, whatever. Whatever you like. Whatever flavors of those topwaters, throw those in here. Some of the square bill stuff uh, that, that stays across the top, kind of like a, a Sixth Sense makes one that it's got that this little square bill. It's got a lot of wobbly, uh, rattling action that's been really good up in these areas. And again, uh, put you on something just a little bit heavier jig head wise. If you're going to fish the surf out there, put you maybe a quarter ounce jig head, three sixteenth ounce jig head, and work the guts. Uh, some of these fish have been pushed up real close to the shoreline before the first gut, and some of them are in that secondary gut. Haven't fished the third gut. Just the first two have been the most productive for me anyway, at least on the days that I've been out there. We're finding a few fish up and down the shoreline area. Uh, you've got a few little flat areas before you get out to the mouth of the Gulf. All these areas over here on the right hand and left hand side have had a decent amount of fish that have been holding it. You've got scattered shell, uh, mud. There's been a, a few uh, black drum that we've caught. We've caught those on the mirror lure. Little Johns have been productive with those. Uh, again, the down south burner shads, regular shad, or the regular version, and the supermodel of all three have been productive here. We're, again, we're on the back side of a full moon, so make sure that you take into consideration of that. You'll have these, what we call the wild card days, so you'll have all different kinds of production days. So make sure that you have plenty of baits available to you, size, colors, uh, the profile of those. So it may take you two, three, four, maybe five different baits before you find out exactly what they're wanting. But the more you pay attention to them, what the fish will dictate to you what they want. Uh, again, always incorporate a major or minor into your fishing day to keep your production level at a nice steady pace. Back up here in Mission Bay. Haven't been back up here near a little bit, but here recently I've made a couple of trips back up in this area here. Uh, water levels have fluctuated quite a bit. If you've been on the water, you should well know this. Again, this area back up in here is really tide predicated. You really want to make sure that you're paying attention what your tide levels are. 
lots of little shell bars and shell reefs, shell pads, shell humps. Everything shell is all back up in this area here around the mouth, over to the right-hand side, some out into the middle. Uh, I like to get to the back shoreline where uh, Mission Creek or Mission River has, comes into it. Then you get in uh, Mission Lake further back, all back in that area there. So you get on that back shoreline close to where the river flows into uh, the Mission Bay here. There's been a little bit of water flow that you always got some current that's working through that area. And that's one of the areas that you actually can wade is on that back shoreline. Anything on this right hand side, you're going to be real hard pressed to get out of the boat and wade this area. So if you want to fish all this area over here to the right or even out in the middle, make sure that you stay in your boat because it's really sticky, soft mud and you're going to sink way down into it. Found that out the hard way. But all that said, there's been, it's a nice protected area, especially when you get a nice breeze from the north and from the south as well, depending on what side you want to fish. You know, your, your south side with your south breeze, north side, obviously with your north breeze, northeast breeze, all this sets up really well back in here for protection. And the water is consistently warmer than what your, your uh, open bay areas are, or maybe even your cove areas are because of the amount of mud and the shell that's back up in here. So these are areas that you really want to, emphasize in here look for your bait working back in here there's been some great scattered redfish that are all back in here a few scattered trout that are back in this area as well uh, even caught a couple of flounder here and there but everything that we've we've been using back in here we've been using uh marker 54 jerk shrimp there is a, he has a new system or a new product out that's got that tpc plastic and it's extremely durable if you don't really want to free line it put it up underneath the popping cork and work that thing everything eats a shrimp and he's got some really great products there at Marker 54 that you can really use to, to your advantage, especially at different times of the year with the amount of shrimp that we have that migrate through our system in the brown and the whites, both at different times of the year. Again, uh, down south in both the uh, burnish, the burnish shad have been good, regular version have been good. Uh, that other bait that I was mentioning earlier, the AM lure, has been also been a productive bait. Just one of those that have been just trying and throwing and seeing what's happened. So, again, you may want to put that one on your product list to try from time to time. Uh, topwater bait has been moderately good back in here. The uh, soft dines, regular version, working those when you're working that back shoreline. Take your time with that and, and really work. you got some scattered grass. It's all back in that area there. Work on those potholes, work in the areas, work to the edges of that, work the edge of the gut that comes out from the creek, the points. All those are points of emphasis that you really want to work. Locate your baits that are working back in here. Again, incorporate a major or minor and see what your tide levels are before you start venturing off back in here just to make sure you keep yourself safe. Long reef bend area. Again, the, the this is one of these other areas too with our, our tides that fluctuate so much. This area here can be really good on days. Make sure that you pay pay attention to what those tide levels are uh, again with the fronts that we have it's going to push water across that system the bay system and then as we get these big strong south breezes that are pushing it's going to push water back in there so those are always going to be things that you're really going to want to take care of and look at to make sure you hit some of these areas that said all the drains that are back here in long reef bend fish every one of them first ones you come up to may or may not have fish in it the second one may not may that third, fourth, or fifth one that you see that you work, the, the deeper edges of those guts and even back up into the lakes, that they go back a little ways, you'll have opportunities back there. Uh, one of the things that we really like to be able to do, uh, especially in the deeper edges of those guts, is take uh, maybe a burner shad, or if you're a gulp fan, take your gulp and rag, drag the bottom of these, of these guts. We've been pulling out some nice flounder out of some of these guts that are in here up there on the deep on the edges of of the of the mouth of these back lakes that come in and out of these things the flowing system as we've if we've done that we've we've pulled out some nice redfish that have been pushing up close to the shoreline again it's all tide predicated and what's going on with there how much water's pushed in or pulled out you'll dictate to you too is as those fish will push out if that water is is dropping out on you or if that water's pushing up they'll be it'll push a little bit closer to the shoreline so those are always things that you want to look for and pay attention to when you work in an area that's like this. Uh, we've been throwing soft dines, uh, Paul Brown originals off here off the deeper edge out here closer to the bay system there. You're getting in that, you know, thigh to waist deep water and working that deeper water. We found some decent trout that have been hanging out off this edge out here. 
a uh, few scattered black drum, not too many, but there are a few that are that are cruising up and down this area in here, uh, working your down south in both your uh, supermodel and regular version have been good. They haven't been great, but they have been good. We've been production out of it. Uh, the one thing that's been probably the most productive have been the the Miradyne or the Softdyne, the small version of that have been really good there. It's got that built-in rattler. We've been throwing the uh, mullet flavor, which, you know, black back, silver belly, grayish belly, whatever, and uh, really taking our time working the edge for when it drops off to that deeper edge to a little bit shallower edge. Uh, there's been some nice fish that have cruised up and down this area here. Be patient with it. It's, it's not fast and furious. Again, we're fixing to get into those days where we call what I call wild card days in a transition moon from a, from a full moon to a new moon. So you'll all have all different style of bite days. Some days may be spectacular. Some may be, days may be poor. You may have an average day, above average, below average, whatever. But the one thing that you always want to be sure of when you're doing fishing those types of days is have different choices, different opportunities. Again, the profile size, depending on what your color is of the water, it's going to be key on what flavor bait that you're going to throw in there to either uh, stand out or blend in with that. Uh, most of it's been a little off, off color, which is my personal favorite. I like that. So it keeps me throwing darker baits most of the time. Continue to work all these areas here. Uh, again, majors and minors are always key points during your fishing day to continue to be productive throughout your fishing day. Be patient with it. Locate some bait and you'll, you'll locate fish out here in Long Reef Bend. For watching, I'm Captain Larry Bell.